Hi, I'm Ron Haley, your host of Technology Today, where each week we bring you the latest and greatest of technology that is available to mankind today. You know, nothing is more important than Homeland Security here in the United States as of late. And we're here today at the Foxborough Safety Building where we're going to show you how local law enforcement and the Foxborough Police Department is helping us stay safe within the local area. So let's go on in, check it out, and we'll see you very soon. We're here actually with Detective Tim O'Leary. Tim? Hi, nice Hi. to see you. Great to see you too. We've uh, actually known each other for quite a while being from Foxborough. And Tim's going to show us one of the nice little toys. We're actually here in booking. Uh, where they do the prisoner processing, correct? That's correct. And right after booking, the very next step, we stop off, or a prisoner would stop off at this station. And why don't you explain to me a little bit about what we're doing here? Sure. So we're here at our live scan fingerprint position, mm -hmm. uh, where we actually take fingerprints from people that we've taken into custody. In the past, we never did this way. We actually took fingerprints with ink. Now, we still do sometimes, but we take fingerprints with ink, we actually put ink on the fingerprints, and we put them on uh, cardstock. Right. Once we fingerprint somebody that's been arrested, we send those fingerprints to the state and to the, and to the uh, FBI where mm -hmm. they compare them with their fingerprint database. Now in the past, we would have to wait months in order to find out whether someone gave us false information. If someone was arrested and they gave us false information, wrong name, wrong date of birth, and we fingerprinted them, we wouldn't know until months later that they had been arrested before right. or that they were someone else. Now with our live scan system, we actually fingerprint them here, and the fingerprints are electronically sent to both the state and the FBI. And we'll get a result, or what we call a hit, mm -hmm. back sometimes as quick as 10 minutes. We'll get a hit. It's a little bit of an improvement. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Want to see how it works? Absolutely. Well, right now you can see that we've, we're, we're what we call training mode, and that's just a safe mode for us to practice in. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to be doing here today. Now, we already have fingerprints displayed, but if you don't mind, I'd like to show you how we actually take fingerprints. Let's do it. Perfect. And this little device here, this is our, our Guardian L, uh, Live Scan fingerprint scanner, and this is what we use to actually physically take the fingerprints. So if I can have your right hand... And we're going to put your fingerprints together like this, and we're actually going to uh, put your fingers together like that. There we go. And we're actually going to put a little bit of pressure. And if you notice, if you're looking, you can actually see your fingerprints coming up. That's now we have green lights all across the board, which means it's the machine likes what it sees. And we press this little thing we call capture. And let me just lift your hand from the scan, and then it asks us to do what we call rolls. So let me have see your first finger, and I'll show you. As we take this, I'm just going to roll your hand. You can just relax it. You'll see as we roll your fingerprint on the screen, you can actually see the ridge lines develop. Terrific. Now, for the people that are watching at home, this is actually called biometrics. Bio for biological and metrics for measurement. And there's a whole lot of, for Homeland Security recognition, there's facial recognition there, which measures the points or the depths on people's faces. There's fingerprint recognition. There's voice recognition. We did a show on speech recognition, actually, with the Easter Seals. So this is a, in another example of biometrics and how it's keeping us safe in the Foxborough area. Well, not only does the Foxborough Police Department lucky enough to have this live scan, mm -hmm. it also complements our automatic fingerprint uh, identification system, which is upstairs in the detector division. So once we take someone's fingerprints, we can match them against what we call late prints. If you'd like to see that, we can show you that. Absolutely. So I just want to, before we leave the station, so before, I mean, we used to have to wait months to be able to, you know, kind of identify somebody. So you may have had somebody in custody that was, you know, a dangerous criminal that you would like to hold, and two months you may not be in holding anymore. So with this, with 10 minutes, while they're still in holding, you're able to kind of match them on a federal database with the FBI to be able to find out if you have somebody that's dangerous or wanted in other parts of the country, correct? That's right. And as a matter of fact, we've had six such identifications since that's, we've had this. So we're getting payback already, already from our investment, Foxborough tax dollars, hard at work. Timmy, thank you so much, Detective, thank you. for showing us this area, and I appreciate your help.